under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Andy Pettit, the Louisiana-born left-hander, will get the start on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? It's not an easy thing to do to pitch as a rookie, but one of the things you have to do is use the positives. The opposing team has never faced you. You can't be afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. Establish your pitches and try to work quickly. Brian Roberts, the next batter. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Brian Roberts. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up, and there's one away. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matty, you focus on this lineup, the middle of the order jumps out at you because of the big power. But my focus today is on the table setters, the guys that set the tone. They have to be willing to work the count and find ways to get on base and create a little bit of havoc on the defense. Into the box now, Nick Markakis. Popped him up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. So next to bat will be Melvin Mora. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Racing back, the right fielder, gone! A solo shot down the line in right. As the O's are on the board first, it's one to nothing. Love to homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Oh. Stepping in now, Aubrey Huff. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. Now the pitch. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now. 0-2. 0-2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. On to the bottom of the first now from Yankee Stadium, and Baltimore is off to a 1-0 lead. Jamie Walker will be the starter for the O's in this contest. Dan, any thoughts? It's not easy as a rookie to go out there and establish yourself, get the off-speed pitches over, and just try to be the same pitcher that you were in the minor leagues. And one of the big keys, not get ahead of yourself. Now at the plate, here is Johnny Damon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Here's of the first. For the Yankees, the center field, Johnny Damon. Pitch on the way. As he'll go after a curveball out of the zone to start the at bat, it's 0 1. Now the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. And there to grab it is Roberts for the first out. Jeter. 
with that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Dero, what you got on this lineup tonight? Yeah, Matty, a lot of professional at-bats up and down this lineup. I know they're behind right now, but it only takes one guy to set the tone and get the boys going. Standing in now, Derek Jeter. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in will be Bobby Abreu. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch as he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They're down 1 0. Second inning set to go, and now it'll be the catcher, Ramon Hernandez. And now the first pitch. Too low, 1 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. 3-1. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Next here is Adam Jones. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now you've got a couple of guys on So now to the plate, Kevin Millar, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hernandez at second, Jones on at first with nobody out. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. To the plate now, Jay Payton, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. Orioles out to an early one nothing lead here in inning number two, and there's ball one. 
And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Yes, bro. Next to hit, Juan Castro. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here's the 1 0. Two men are on with two men out. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Ready with the 2 1. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Hernandez rounds the corner and is headed home. He comes across to score as they extend their lead to two. Dan, you find yourself in trouble early putting guys on base, but then you're able to wiggle out of it, get two quick outs. You think you're going to get your team off the field, and with two outs, you give up a run scoring base hit. You know what happens sometimes, Dero? You lose concentration. You find yourself in a tough spot. You get two outs. You think you're just almost out of it, and you lose concentration, and that might have been what happened in that case. In now, Brian Roberts, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. If he can mix that in, maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Runners at the corners, two men out. Still no balls and two strikes. Another 0-2 coming. Swing and a miss for strike three. Hold the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Orioles settle for one. of the inning now and that'll give way to the third baseman Alex Rodriguez you know these next couple innings are really important for these guys I know they're only down by a couple but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace even though it's early as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one ready with the 0 1 and he fouls this one off. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Line toward the alley in left center, and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the, the gap base like base. that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Into the box, Jason Giambi. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. A runner at second, nobody out.
in the dirt here. The 0-2 delivery. A swing and a high drive to right center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And surprisingly today, the best arm resides out in center field. This guy's known for his range. We get it. He can go gap to gap. He's got an accurate arm. But I'll tell you what, you won't see many guys trying to take the extra base on him. He has got an absolute cannon out there. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Set to deliver the 0-1. One. One oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder is on the move. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And they are on the board as the run scores that from third tough. to cut the lead to 2-1 now. Robinson. So now here is Robinson Cano trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First offering. And it's fouled away. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Two out, nobody on. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Orioles two and the Yankees one. Ready now is Nick Markakis. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The right field, number 21. Nick. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. And now in the box, Melvin Mora. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. A ball and no strikes. The 1 0. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He can't get there in time. And now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double.
Stepping in now, Aubrey Huff. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh and one, here it comes. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Aubrey Huff is out number two here in the third inning. At the plate now, Ramon Hernandez, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Pops this one up. Giambi into foul territory. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Mora at second with two down. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for the Orioles. They still lead it two to one. Leading off the inning, it'll be Hideki Matsui as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. He's set and the pitch. Matsui is really a well-balanced hitter. That doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right-hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Now a flare out to left center. In there, a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Into the box now, Jose Molina. He swings and grounds it to short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, he did an amazing job just to be able to get wood on this baseball and drive it through the infield. I and mean, that pitch was executed perfectly. Breaking ball down below the zone. Nice job right there. At the plate, Johnny Damon. Right side, but it's well fouled. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Soft liner to the left side. That's in there. Base hit. Matsui isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. Safe at the plate. It's a 2 2 game. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit.
So now to the plate, Derek Jeter, as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Jones is right there, one down. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Now back, right fielder, Bobby Abreu. Next for New York, Bobby Abreu grounded out in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at-bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Hit in the air down the right field line. Markakis is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The third baseman, number 13, Allen. So now Rodriguez. it'll be the four-hole hitter, Alex Rodriguez. Two on, two out for him here in the third. First delivery to him. Down the first baseline. And a foul ball here, 0-1. Ready with the 0-1. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first. And that'll put an end to the inning. Yankees forced to settle for one. Stepping in once again is Adam Jones, singled in his last at-bat. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Called strike, 0-2. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good now straight changeup, El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed, and the ball, it just doesn't get there. To the plate now, Kevin Millar. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Boy, sometimes they say you hit it hard, good things will happen. Well, that's not the case right there. That was a bullet that just stayed up, and it's caught in the outfield. In now, Jay Payton. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And it could go either way now, I suppose. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first beats him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. On to the bottom of the fourth. This game's tied at 2 2. Now to the plate, Jason Giambi. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. The first baseman, Jason Giambi. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. 
fouled off. The 0-1. One and one. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw on to first in time, one away. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. At the plate now is Xavier Nady. He hit a sack fly earlier. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Looked like a breaking ball that time, but it never came back down. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Here comes the 1-0. Hits are now even at four apiece. In there, one and two now. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Xavier Nady goes down for route number Second two baseman. in the bottom half. Robinson. Standing in now, Robinson Cano, as he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. Running hard, he's digging for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. At the plate now, Hideki Matsui, and he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. More baseball on the show right after this. Castro. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next will be the first year shortstop, Juan Castro. Here's the pitch. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Well, there's the great equalizer, the change of El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. At the plate, Brian Roberts. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. No hits to this point. Oh, and one count and the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count, and, and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one.
So now to the plate, Nick Markakis. Left side, but well foul. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Pulled toward right center field. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Halfway home, tied to a piece. Molina. And now here is Jose Molina. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. He's set. Here it comes. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. The 1 1. Hit on the ground toward the left. Reined in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. To the plate now, Johnny Damon. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. One for two in the ball game thus far. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Oh, and 2 here it comes. And he popped him up. Roberts over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The batter, number 2, shortstop, Derek Jeter. Now to the plate, here is Derek Jeter. He flew out in his last A.B. From the stretch. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. The one one misses inside off the plate. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three easy innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. In now, Bobby Abreu, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready with the 0 and 1. Ball Whoa. 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Jeter stands at second with two gone. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Alex Rodriguez would be next if they can keep this inning alive.
And the count will be full. Hit down the line at first. He's got it. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. So they can't make anything out of the two-out double. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. So stepping in is Melvin Mora. He doubled his last time up. First offering on its way. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Smoke toward the hole. Beautiful diving stop. He gathers the throw in time. Oh, that's a tough play, but he pulled it off perfectly. Once he made the great stop, still had to make a good feed to the pitcher covering, which isn't easy on routine grounders sometimes. Hard not to appreciate that one. Into the box now, Aubrey Huff. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. First pitch of the A-B on its way. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. Line drive to left. That gets down and the inning will continue. Hey, he had just retired 10 straight until that base hit right there. That's into almost fourth inning of him not ever seeing the stretch. We'll see how he does with a runner on now. Standing in now, Adam Jones. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's working on a one for two game so far. Swing and a miss and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. That's an awesome 12 6 hook right there. Look at the depth spin rate nasty downward tilt on that pitch. He 
He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Up next, Kevin Millar. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. One and O, oh, here it is. Count now a ball and a strike. The set and the 1 1. Lied hard to center field. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Orioles strand a couple. Home half of the sixth inning coming up, deadlocked at two apiece. Fernando Cabrera enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Rodriguez. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go as the third baseman, Alex Rodriguez. First pitch on the way. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. A one pitch on its way. Right side. Scooped up. And that's out number one. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Next up is Jason Giambi. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is chopped down the third baseline, and that's through for a hit. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Blake now, Xavier Nady on a line. That's a base hit in the left field. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Stepping in now, Robinson Cano, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's one for two in this one. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. One there. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a 3-6-1 to six to one double play, and the side is retired. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through six full, and we are tied 2-2. Two -two. Striding in is Jay Payton. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Slow little roller to third. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I'd bet he'd like to have that one over. Next, it'll be Juan Castro struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Throw to first is in time for the first down. 
Digging in, the switch hitter, Brian Roberts. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Now the 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Way outside. One and two. From the stretch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Nick Markakis is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. The 0-1 offering. A ball and a strike. And it's fouled away. The one-two pitch. Hits softly on the ground to first. Fielded cleanly. Throws there at first so the error doesn't hurt him on the scoreboard as the inning is over. Orioles leave one. Score remains two to two. Late now is the designated hitter, Hideki Matsui. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First delivery to him. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Set to deliver the 0-1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Oh and two here it comes that's lifted the other way out to left Peyton comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Next to hit is Jose Molina he's one for two in the ballgame. Jorge Posada will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. First offering. As he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. Owen oh one count and the pitch. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Now the 0-2 pitch. Lined hard toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, you know what? 
Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, d -Row. To be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. At the plate, Johnny Damon as he drives a liner to right center. And that finds a seam for extra bases as we'll see if they want to wheel that go-ahead run home from first. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt-high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. Jim Johnson takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Into the box, Derek Jeter. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Jones has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Oh, and the tag will get him at home plate as that keeps the ball game tied. One left for the Yankees. And this game is still tied at 2-2. Two and two. Jorge Posada will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. David Robertson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in is the rookie third baseman Melvin Mora. Wheels and deals here's the first pitch. Set. Here's the 0-1. Hit hard to short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher, and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Hey, Matty V, you know when you've got really good stuff, you look down at that strikeout total, Double-digit strikeouts in this one. He had swing and miss stuff right from the beginning. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Going back is the right fielder. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And it's now a one-run ball game. What a great piece of clutch hitting right there to give his boys the lead going to put a lot of pressure on the opposition after score with only six outs to go. Into the box now Ramon Hernandez as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. In now, Adam Jones as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. That's over but low it's a ball and a strike. Two balls and a strike. strike. 
And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth, and Baltimore has taken a three to two lead. Alberto Castillo comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Cabrera will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Now here's the first offering. Popped up. Mora is under it near the mound. He's got it one away. The third baseman, number 13, Alan Rodriguez. So here's the cleanup hitter, Alex Rodriguez. He bounced out last time up. First pitch of the A-B on its way. A bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. That's another base hit for him. I got to say, though, they've had a really hard time turning all these hits to anything productive on the scoreboard. Only two runs to this point, so stranded runners has been the theme most of the game. We'll see if they can cash in here. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. Wilson Betamit will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Here's the first pitch. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitcher's kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. To second for one, back to first, but it's right over his head. Not particularly graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Runner at second now as a result of the error and standing in is the power hitting second baseman Robinson Cano. From the stretch. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. But the tying run comes across here, so it looks like this could be a wire job. We've played eight full, and we are all tied at three apiece. Cabrera will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Wilson Betamit will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Marte will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. And now, Kevin Millar. First pitch on its way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. 
I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. You could clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call. And his manager, he didn't like it either as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. To two balls and two strikes now. He stays alive, still two and two. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Now it'll be Jay Payton. First pitch on the way. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Comes set and the 0-1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. One out, nobody on. This is in the air out to left field. Needy is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. The batter, number two, shortstop, Juan Castro. So the next to bat will be Juan Castro, a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. In there for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Tie game headed to the last of the night. The Yankees looking to celebrate in the Bronx. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And digging in is the rookie designated hitter, Hideki Matsui. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. The 0 1 pitch. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. Castro is there, and he's got that all-important first out here to start the ninth. The catcher. Digging in next, Jorge Posada. He singled in his first A.B. Now here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time to get Posada two away. Now batting center fielder Johnny Damon. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Johnny Damon is doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. Ready with the 0-1. And, and that's in there as well. 0-2 now. 
Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. 0-2 oh, is a fastball that misses inside. 1-2 and two now. Hey, that 0-2 oh, fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The set and the 1-2. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. 1-2-3 go the Bombers. No change in the score. It's 3-3. Three into extra innings and that means Brian Roberts will dig in now ready to deliver here comes the first pitch nothing in one count here it comes Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Damon is there and he has it for the first out. Now batting the right fielder, Nick Markakis. Ready now for Baltimore, Nick Markakis, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. First pitch on the way, and that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Bases are empty, one man out. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Two balls and a strike now. Count even at two and two. Now the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And a swing and a miss. So a perfect start to the 10th here. Two up and two down. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by. Brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. So now to the plate, Melvin Mora, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0 and 2. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still tied, three to three. into the box 
Derek Jeter. He's got one hit in four at bats. Set and the pitch as it's on the ground toward the hole scooped up and there's one down now. Now back, number 28. Stepping in next Cabrera as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. Yeah this might be his power side swinging right handed. Not that he doesn't have a lot of power from the left side but if you look at the splits a far superior hitter for power from the right side. Swing and a little blooper to center. Roberts oh, is there so two pitches and two outs thus far. Next will be the cleanup hitter Alex Rodriguez. He's got two hits in four at bats. He's set. Here it comes. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Jones is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Score remains tied at three to three. Chamberlain takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Now pitching for the New York Yankees. Number 62. And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Aubrey Huff. He's one for four so far. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Count remains at 0 2. And another foul ball. O2 once more. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Damon is right there, one down. The catcher, number 55. Ramon Hernandez. In now for the O's, Ramon Hernandez. Here's the first pitch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. This is swung on and missed, and the 11th inning is not going to plan here. There are two away. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. At the plate now, Adam Jones. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2-0 -oh count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. and one. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. This one's flared off to the right side. Here comes the right fielder. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove.
Now batting the first baseman, Kevin. To the plate now, Kevin Millar. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. Now a stoppage here as a balk has been called. And that could wind up being a costly one as it'll move that base runner into scoring position now with two away. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Here's the 2-1. Yeah, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game when guys get count leverage and take fastballs. It's a game of fastballs. You calibrate everything off the heater. Surprising take right there. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Jay Payton would be next. Now the three and two pitch. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, he'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. One left for the Orioles. No change in the score. It's three to three. Set now for the bottom of the 11th. And set to go is the rookie first baseman, Wilson Betamit. Now here it comes. A ball hit hard to the left side. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. Xavier Nady. Next, it'll be Xavier Nady. First offering. Swing and a liner. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. And he will make it into second base as the winning run is in scoring position now with only one away. Hey, nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. Lance Cormier is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Stepping in now, Robinson Cano, and he puts it on the ground to second, and that's the second out. Next will be the designated hitter, Hideki Matsui. He's got a chance to win it here, but with a couple of bases open, they might think about working around him. Here's the first pitch as he'll reach unsuccessfully at a slider away at strike one. Well, he's hoping to be a hero and drive in the winning run, but that swing tells me he's a little too amped up. You don't chase a pitch that badly if you're playing within yourself. High in the air out to center field. Jones is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Yanks leave one, still tied three to three. Brandon Fahey will come on as a pinch hitter. Now here's the first offering. The 
wind up and the 0-1. Outside, that's the ball. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Here comes the one-two. Liner towards second. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. So that'll go down as an E4 as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. Test throw. Now to bat, Juan Castro. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. Here's the first pitch. Trying to get that go ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. And he's safe. Well, he took a risk with the decision to throw to second instead of taking the sure out at first. Not sure if someone was yelling for him to go to second, but we know now it was the wrong call. Into the box, Brian Roberts. The swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first down. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Programming note to pass along here. Due to the length of our ball game tonight, the Jody Kelsey show will not be seen this evening so that we can bring you the conclusion of this ball game. Doggone. Ball one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. A ball and a strike. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? Throw on to first for the second out. But meanwhile, that all-important go-ahead run is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. Stepping up is Melvin Mora. Flew out last time up. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Orioles settle for one. And now we'll see if what's left of this crowd can rally their troops. Bottom of the 12th inning coming up. It's the Orioles 4 and the Yankees 3. Brandon, Brandon. Fahey will stay Fahey. in the ballgame now and take over in left field. George Sherrill enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Now with the plate, Jorge Posada. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. And now the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Comes set with the 0-1. Liner toward right center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the butt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting.
Into the box now, Johnny Damon, as he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Look at him jump all over that first pitch, using aggression to get himself a knock through the right side. At the plate, Derek Jeter. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. A winning run at first with nobody out. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. This one's down to third. A tag for one. On to first, and they get the double play. So now to the plate. Cabrera trying here to plate the tying run from second. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And nobody can get there in time. Base hit. He's in there at the plane. And we are once again tied in extra innings. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late innings. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Alex Rodriguez stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Game on the line here, and a ball deep in the gap would make this place explode. The 0-1 lifted in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So one run here on three hits, no errors, and one man left on. Now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Aubrey Huff. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And he'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1-0. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting, catcher, Ramon Hernandez. So here is Ramon Hernandez. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Oh, well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater. Middle cut right there. In a fastball count, he's going to have to turn it up a notch. One one. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Now the 2 1. One out, nobody on. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, you gotta love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's gonna have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. In now, Adam Jones. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Cabrera will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. 
Three up, three down for the Orioles. This game's all tied at four. Better meet. Now into the box, Wilson better meet. From the stretch, as he'll reach for one and come up empty for the first strike. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Down the left field line and deep, and this will wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0 and 2. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time, and that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Fouled away. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's 1-2 and two now. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit out towards second. And there's out number two. Next to dig in, Robinson Cano. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Rounded down the third baseline. Two out, nobody on. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. No balls, two strikes. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Here's the 0 2. Hit softly down the line at first. He's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score remains tied at four. Millard. New inning set to get underway, and here comes the first baseman, Kevin Millar. Jose Veras is going to finally make an appearance in this one as he'll take over in the 14th inning. Slap hard the opposite way. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, look at this guy compete right there. Nice base hit. Are you kidding me? He had already had the hat trick. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face, and he said, no dice. So now to the plate, Brandon Fahey. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1. Fouled off. Stays alive, still 0-2. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. 
So next to hit is Juan Castro. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. The batter number one. Second base. Next to stand in is Ryan Roberts trying to put it all behind him and break through right here. He's a paltry 0 for 6 thus far. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Grounded to the right. Throw on the second for the force and the side is retired. The Orioles lead one. Still all square at four apiece. In now is the Yankees DH Hideki Matsui. First delivery to him. Slow grounder to first. Right to him. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Fahey will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Digging in now for the Yankees, Johnny Damon has got three hits, including a double to this point. First pitch on the way. Lifted in the air out to right. Markakis is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Hang with us, folks. We'll keep going until we get a winner. Mariano Rivera gets to pitch in this one after all as he answers the call in the 15th inning. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Nick Markakis. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. The count now at 2-1. and one. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Jeter calls for it. He's got it one away. The third baseman, number six, Melvin. And stepping in, Melvin Mora. Here's the first pitch to him. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. Here comes another 0 2. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Three 
fouled off. Hey, he finds himself down 0-2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two-strike hitter, but this at bat, he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. So it was a swinging strike three. Melvin Mora goes down for out number two in the top half. To the plate now, Aubrey Huff. Well hit to right, but this lands foul for the first strike. He comes into this appearance one for six on the ball game. Again, another foul ball. Boy, this guy comes out of the pen. He loves coming in in spots like this. Tight situations. This is exactly the type of game that he loves to come into. Into the corner and slicing foul. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Here's a fly ball. Well hit. Racing back the right fielder. And that one is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as they've taken a one run lead. Usually in extra innings, you wait around for someone to run into one. He took matters into his own hands. Now it's up to his pitching staff to grab the W. Now batting, catcher. Into the box, Ramon Hernandez, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another 0-2. Hit hard to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Oh, but it's thrown away at second. Well, that's what he gets for trying to do too much. And instead of eating it and holding him on first, he panics a bit and sails the throw. Now he's got a man in scoring position and nobody to blame but himself. At the plate now, Adam Jones. Oh, what a stop on the slide. He is out. Oh, and that looked destined to be an RBI, but a highlight reel stab put an end to that thought. Orioles get a run thanks to the long ball. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers. 5-4 Baltimore. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and stepping up as the shortstop, Derek Jeter. And the pitch. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Leadoff knock right there, Dan. How frustrating is it to let that leadoff guy get on? Boy, every pitcher, you want to get that first guy out, b it, 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 The chances of scoring runs are so much more slim when you get that first guy out. Traffic on the bases, now you have to pitch out of the stretch. It's never easy for the pitcher. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. At the plate, Cabrera, as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Oh and one here it comes. Jeter aboard here at first with nobody out. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is straining him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Stepping in now, Alex Rodriguez. And he puts it on the ground to second. To second for one. Back to first. It's a double play right when he needed it. And this ball game is over. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4, the final tally. 
George Sherrill is credited with the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Now I'm switching up my energy. Get your hand off my penis!